So I'm a bit of a fan of a guy on YouTube called Bashar Nazari. He's a YouTuber who does automation videos and basically gets his audience to design cars. And uh, although I don't normally design race cars or even take part in any automation contests, today I decided to try and design a Group B rally car from 1986. Um, so as you can see on the screen, it's quite aggressively styled. Uh, I think it looks all right. It's kind of colorful, but I guess I am colorful, so we're good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to basically take you through the design and yeah, um, take it for a wee spin. Thank you. Uh, here it is. It's uh, essentially a groovy rally car. There's one slight issue with this current model though, and that is that this rear wing and BMG keeps on falling off. So after some testing, I have just, I've elected to, even though it looks quite cool, actually remove it entirely like that. So that's going to be the new rear end, of the, rear end of the car. It doesn't quite have the same effect, but that's any problem. I'm wondering if I actually reduce the width of it a wee bit. Would that actually stop the issue? Let's find out. This is one of the one of the problems with with, uh, with automation, I guess, is that there is a tendency that it has a tendency to um, not do well with lots and lots of fixtures. So what we've got here is basically a you know uh, space frame chassis. Um, I think it's got a V8 in it. What sort of engine has it got? Let's have a look. No, it's a flat six, big turbocharger and a big intercooler, and it produces approximately 536 horsepower. So it's quite within the sort of parameters that you would expect from a Group B, Group B rally car from the 1986 sort of era. And in fact, I think around that era they were sort of pushing upwards of 500 horsepower. Um, one of the issues with this, though, that I'm finding is those cars could accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers an hour on gravel in about two and a half to three seconds. Whereas you can see that this car is significantly slower. Um, it goes 0 to 100 in 5.2 seconds. Having said that, it still is a massive handful. So let's uh, export it and see what it's like to drive. So here we are in BMG with the Group B rally car. Um, as you can see, it's. I went for some pretty aggressive styling on it. I mean, I figured the Group B rally cars were. Like, they were crazy. Um, they were kind of a Concorde moment in terms of race car development, just because of the fact that they had no limitations um, and the safety. The safety sort of level of safety development just had not kept up with the, the, the sort of the advancement of turbine technology so they're extremely unsafe so let's see how driving one goes in the hands of a complete amateur Oof. oh my goodness okay there's a lot of turbo lag <laughs> damn Yeah, well, it takes a bit of curve. Use the bank. Now, because this is in, uh, from 1986, unfortunately, we only have manual trans transmission. Uh, I feel like a sequential gearbox really don't go amiss because I'm having to over rev a lot just because of the fact that it's just so it's so slow to change. Here we go down the hill. Whoa, this is going to be. Oh my goodness! Okay. Whoa. Power, try and get some friction. No, oh. plant some branch there. Oh my goodness, this thing is pretty insane to drive. Oh, ah. yeah, I don't think I can ever have a career as a great as a <laughs> really car driver. It's just too intense. This, the reaction speed required, like driving anything in it, even in it, it's like a crappy simulation like this. It really gives you a respect for the rally drivers and what they said went through. It must have been really intense and they were going a lot faster than I am right now. Oh, that's really, that's really sharp. I'm going to do it. I'm committing. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, it's a pretty tough car to drive. Let's just do a quick U-turn here. This way. Straight through all the foliage. Quite a low spring rate, but quite high dampers, so that when you go over jumps, you can not crash. So if you have a high spring rate, it just bounces all over the shop and it becomes really difficult to control. So we're coming through a bend, there's a jump here. 
So you can see here that the landing is extremely smooth, which is quite useful. Right, so that's my Group B rally car. Um, I suspect it won't do very well in the contest because this guy's got 4,000 subscribers. He's got a lot of people who are very interested in his cars. Uh, I'll submit it, um, but I hold out absolutely no expectations and illusions of grandeur. However, I just I think the thing about this game that I like so much is just the the fact that you can design and build something and then go and drive it. And I think that's a you know. So often game developers kind of shelter us from the intricacies of complex thinking and like problem solving. And I think that's one of the, the, the reasons that I like automation so much. So thank you very much for tuning in and uh, have a great night. See you later.